Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 34 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to format date time to a 12 hour clock or a 24 hour clock based on our requirement. So let's see everything in details. So we all know that we have two kinds of clock indicators. One is 12 hour clock and the other one is 24 hours clock. So the difference between these two is the first one is having AM PM indicator, which means the 24 hours of the day are segregated between two categories. One is AM and other one is PM. You can see here from 12 till 11, it is called AM and from the noon 12 PM till 11.59, it is called PM. Okay. And the time for 12 hour clock goes from 1 to 12. However, the time for 24 hour clock goes from 0 to 24. Okay. So you can see from 1 AM to 12 PM, it is same between 12 hour clock and 24 hour clock. But after that, in 12 hour clock, it again starts from 1 but the indicator is PM and then it goes like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. But in 24 hour clock, it's a continuation even after 12, it's 13, 14, 15 and so on. So now through the ADF pipeline, I want to get the current time and we want to see how to fetch the current time and format it according to our need in either 12 hour clock or 24 hour clock. So with the help of demo, we will see how to write an expression to achieve both the 12 hours and 24 hours clock. Okay, so let's go to the ADFs and let's start creating the pipeline. Okay, so I have created a new pipeline and we will just drag one activity which is set variable activity into our pipeline canvas. And here I will create a variable called current date. Okay, and I will leave the data type as string itself. Let me go to the set variable activity here and let me select the current date variable. Okay, and here in the value, we will write the expression to fetch the current time and then we will see how to toggle between 12 hours clock and 24 hours clock. So we all know that to get the current time, we need the function called UTC now. So let's search for that. So let me scroll down. So you can see in the date functions, we have UTC now, which will return the current timestamp as a string. Okay. So if I just run this, let me debug this and we will be expecting that it will return the current time in the output. So let's wait. So you can see pipeline has been executed. Let me minimize it. So let me see the output here. So you can see it is giving the current date and this is the UTC time, which is 1945. So by default, it gives time in 24 hours clock. Okay. So I'm just copying it to, to write our expression with the help of this time format. Okay. So let me close it. So by default, this UTC now gives the time in 24 hours format as we saw. So now to convert it to 12 hours clock, what we have to do is let me go to functions and we all know that there is something called format date time. With the help of this function, we can play around and change the format according to our need. Okay. So let me call this function and inside this function, we will pass UTC now as the parameter and in whatever format we need we have to pass that format here so i'm just pasting the copied value that we copied from the output and we will change this hard-coded value to the format like this is yyyy then this is the month so let me make it mm and then this 06 is the date so let me give dd and then this is hh this is mm for minutes and this is ss for seconds okay and the millisecond part i will just remove it so this is what 
we have as the default time format so let me run it again so that we will achieve the same thing except for the millisecond part so let's give it a try so you can see we have the current time value we have just eliminated the millisecond but you can see it is still coming as the 24 hour format okay because the time is 19 which is equivalent to 7 uh, uh, 7 pm you can see 7 pm is equivalent to 19 hours okay so let's go back so now how to change it to 12 hours format so let me go back here so there is a very small trick by which we can toggle between 12 hours and 24 hours clock the expression which is determining the hours is hh right and by default it gives 24 hours format and for that the equivalent is capital hh but if we change it to small hh then let's try to debug the pipeline and let's see the output let's wait yeah so you can see now it has been converted to 12 hours format just by changing the expression to lower case gave this value in 12 hours format if we keep it as capital HH then it will give the hours in 24 hours format this is a very small trick which many of you might be aware of but for those of you who were not aware of it it might be helpful to you so that's it for this video guys i hope you find it helpful please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you